If you're watching this video on YouTube, then the next episode is already available on patreon.com forward slash ls11universe. Hey LS11 Universe, it's Xander and welcome back to WWE Smackdown vs. Raw 2008 GM Mode. Last time we got The Rock on our roster here. We managed to draft him in exchange for Mr. Kennedy. Um, Mark, we'll consider you a new contract in a minute. I'm just looking at the roster here to see who's happy and who's not. Everyone seems to be happy. Uh, the goal is I'm going to build up Candice Michelle just enough to get Triple H because we don't need any of the women on our roster. I know that that sounds bad at first, but if you think about it, we're SmackDown. We don't have a women's championship. Triple H has an 86 popularity. It's going down quickly on ECW. And Triple H, I just really want to have on the show. But this week, we're going to continue our Hurt Business story. And we're going to do an interview space with Candice Michelle to keep boosting her popularity. We're going to do a... Um, we're going to do a big story here. We're going to do a... Um, let's see. Hmm. Let's do a title match hunt because we're also going to finally have the Hurt Business capture the last bit of gold in this episode. Which would be the Tag Team Championships. That's kind of the... That's the story I want to tell right now is that the Hurt Business are winning all the titles. They need a fourth member, I think. Who could we give them as a fourth member? We got Mark Henry, Bobby Lashley, and MVP. I don't want it to be King Booker because the King gimmick doesn't fit with the Hurt business. Um, I don't know. Maybe we'll just do double champion Mark Henry for now. I'm going to play that match to make sure it goes the right way. We're going to do a one-on-one -on -one, um, hardcore match. Just because I know it's going to draw the rate. It's going to pop the ratings. Rock and Austin. A six-man tag team match. Because we have to have one of those, it seems. Where John Cena is going to team up with the Hardy Boys. And they're going to take on the team of CM Punk. Um, William Regal. Oh, we have a lot of people on our roster. We have the max number of people you can have on your roster. Um, you know what? Actually, we'll just do a... We'll do another tag team match, because we need a lot. John Cena and Xander against the team of CM Punk and Randy Orton. Have The Undertaker and Rey Mysterio in a match. Whoops, not Mark Henry and MVP. Undertaker versus Rey Mysterio. We have a stacked roster, guys. Like, seriously, a stacked roster. We've also still got William Regal and... Uh, Roddy Piper. I think those are the only people to use tonight. Candice Michelle is in that interview. Um, I'm going to change the Candice Michelle interview. And instead, I'm going to do the interview space for MVP. Because that will help with his popularity because it's kind of low. It's not super low. Like, 76 is not low by any means. But, like, Regal and Piper. Regal gets the win. Taker and Mysterio. Mysterio gets the win. Tag team match. Faces Rock and Austin. And Rock wins in his SmackDown debut. Here we go. Let's play as the, uh, let's play as the Hurt Business. I'm almost sad that this is the uh, the only time we're ever going to see Mick Foley and Terry Funk come out with the tag belts. Here we go. Let's do it. Getting close to SummerSlam as well, so we might do like a big six-man tag with the Hurt Business at SummerSlam. That also might be good to say for Survivor Series. I don't know. We'll see. Let's 
Also, just reminded me we're only a few months away from the real life Survivor Series. All right, here we go. Mark Henry. Mark Henry and MVP versus Mick Foley and Terry Funk. I'm also just now remembering I've had 2K19 open on my PC for a few hours and I've not touched it. That usually results in it crashing as soon as I do something in it. And it wouldn't, it honestly, it would not crash as often as it does if I didn't have so many mods installed. And I firmly believe that. Same reason why it takes forever to get the game booted up. It does not take long to continue playing. Come here, Mick. Hurt business is going over. We're taking over this show. We're going to run Friday Night Smackdown. Come here. Mark Henry, the U.S. champion. Lashley's the... I didn't put Lashley on the show. I didn't put the world heavyweight champion on the show. Just the thing, I just killed Terry Funk. It's okay, maybe this is Terry Funk's ninth retirement match. He, he retires, like, what? Once every, once every couple years? Ow. Oh, they're actually... They're actually getting us. Oh, yeah, come on. Get back in here, Mick. Let me teach you something. Let me teach you something about the Hall of Pain. Let me give you the little world's strongest slam. Oh, Mick, you have made a mistake, my friend. Because the Hurt Business doesn't take kindly to people kicking out. Get in here, MVP. I've never played as MVP in this game. I played as him in 2K19 as a modded version, but, like, never have I played as him in this game. This is going to be weird. Come on, MVP. Come on, MVP. Let's get him. Okay. Get him again here. Come on. Hey, yeah, come on. Bring bring Terry Funk back in. Bring Terry in. Let me have a fight with Terry. Get out of here. Okay. Okay. Ow. Okay. Okay, Terry. Yeah. Yeah, you don't headbutt MVP. MVP headbutts you. That better not, I was going to say, that better not DQ me for accidentally hitting the ref once. Boom! Ow. Oh, I was kind of hoping to try and roll him up there. Oh! 
That did something. Yes, yes, yeah. Oh, come on. That's not what I was going for. I was going for this. Hurt Business got all the gold now. All they're missing is the Cruiserweight title. And I don't really know if I've got anyone I want joining the Hurt Business in that division. Given the, Hurt, given the Cruiserweight scene on SmackDown right now is Shawn Michaels, Rey Mysterio, me, CM Punk, Jeff, and Matt Hardy. I mean, I, I'd join the Hurt Business, but I don't think they'd have me. I think they'd be like, no, you're too weak. Like, yeah, I am. You're right. MVP and Mark Henry are tag team champions, though. The Hurt Business have all the gold that they want. Who knows? Maybe they'll want more soon. We'll find out. What is going on out there? Either way, let's see how SmackDown went. Uh, oh, Regal. I'm a month overdue for a title shot. I've earned a title opportunity, and I demand one. Okay. We'll give you one as soon as we can, Regal. Wow, MVP's popularity's gone up from that. Mark Henry is one of the highest guys on the roster. Where's Lashley? I didn't miss him, did I? No, he's still on the roster. Good. I assume Regal's probably furious would be my guess. Upset. Okay. I'll never do for that. You'll get your title shot in the next episode we do. Of this, like, in this game. <laughs> Oh, shoot! No, no, no. Let's look how the show's going. Raw got three stars. Well, I mean, they, they knew... They, they knew The Rock was leaving, so they had to. Had to take the titles off of him. ECW got four stars. You don't have a single match over three star. Or over three and a half, though. Triple H lost again. We got three and a half stars. We had two four star matches though, so like, hey. Hurt business is ratings, man. All right, let's see how Triple H is doing in popularity. He's at 86, okay, so. Don't really want to trade anyone for him. I mean, maybe. Yeah, you know what? And is there anyone else we might want? Uh, Rick Rude would be good to have in the cruiserweight scene. Elijah Burke, I believe, was it Elijah Burke or was it Marcus Corvon that's a tag team with CM Punk by default in this game? I can't remember. I looked it up. It's Marcus Corvon, and he is on Raw. So, um, just kind of look at the roster here. We could get Rick Rude. Be he. Actually, probably be a good addition to the cruiserweight scene now that I think about it. Yeah, let's try and get Rick Rude and Triple H for Terry Funk and Mick Foley. Yeah, that's going to dampen our, our tag team scene a little bit because it's going to take the tag teams down to the Hurt Business, um, the Hardy Boys, and other teams we could make up. But, like, we're getting DX if we do that. It's all about the game, baby. All about the game. Oh, shoot. We've got a lot of contracts expiring. I will be right back. Okay, so we have a lot of contracts expiring, uh, including our World Heavyweight Champion. That's the wrong controller. Including the World Heavyweight Champions of Mark Henry, HBK, CM Punk, Mysterio, Lashley, and King Booker. Henry, Punk, Michaels, Mysterio, Lashley, and Booker. Okay, so I should have been keeping my eye on that. Mark Henry. Okay, we can we can probably get everyone for a five week extension. Michaels, we definitely want to keep. 
Mysterio, we definitely want. Uh, and then Punk is the only one. Punk and King Booker, but King Booker we could just trade off. We don't really... Yeah, we're more concerned with re-signing Punk. So Booker, we'll try and get someone else for. Booker was 77, right? Okay, so ECW is probably going to have someone, right? Sorry, King Booker, it just it didn't work out for you on SmackDown, I suppose. As my dog is just barking his head off in there because he can hear the lawnmower going outside and it's freaking him out. Hey, uh, Johnny Nitro. Welcome back to the LS11 SmackDown. Okay, so how many match? We only get one match at SummerSlam? Ugh, and they're doing a match that kind of makes sense if that were Lita, I guess. But, like, former guys of ours all across the show here. Because, like, where are we in the Power 25 now? I swear, if Rock, like, just plummeted down, I'm going to be pissed. Rock just plummeted down it, didn't he? Mr. Kennedy's at the top of the Power 25, because of course he is. So, we've got a few people in the Power 25 still, at least. MVP is in there. Mark Henry was towards the top, so that's good. He's a tag team and U.S. champion. How are we doing in ratings? ECW's back above us again. Our ECW's back above a million. Or back above three. But we might be able to turn it around if we do, like, a really, really star-studded match. Hear me out. We're building this match as a six-man elimination tag team match. No titles on the line. The Hurt Business against John Cena and a pair of Mr. Uh, John Cena, HBK, and a mystery partner who on the night will reveal to be It's all up at the game. And now you play it. I mean, they, they didn't... There's only one title match on the show anyway, so... And let's get the... I feel like the Hurt Business should win. It makes the most sense. Although I hate to give Triple H a loss on his first episode. Also, I you gotta love how Ashley's pink background is reflecting onto my face. Which, of course, it is. So, anyway... I don't think anyone misses his little inflatable tent thing that he comes out of anymore in 2020, do they? I don't know, gen genuine question. I don't miss it. So we've got MVP. We've got the United States champion, the world's strongest man, Mark Henry. And... The heavy, the world heavyweight champion, the Dominator, Lashley. I weirdly have a strange desire to boot up 2K20 after this just to see if it's any better on PC now. I'll make a video out of it. And John Cena, the man who's been standing up to the Hurt Business as of late, is making his way to the ring tonight. John Cena has assured us that he has a partner. Hit it. Are you ready? I will probably not watch this, or I will probably skip this entrance in a second here, because I have a feeling... I have a feeling this gets copyright claims. Some, something tells me it will. Just something tells me it might. Break it down! D Generation X. So I'm gonna have to split up in the game after this because that's two slots in the power, power 25 that we're gonna lose. 
John Cena and DX versus the Hurt Business. Here we bloody go. So MVP and Cena are starting it off. Nah. Oh. Oh, okay. Come on then, Sean. Get out of here, Cena. Yeah. Come on, DX. What you got? I want the King of Kings. This is great. Ow. Atomic drop. Oh. Oh, yeah. Sean's going to sell the hell out of that one. Mm, that actually kind of looked painful. Give me the game. Give me the game. game. Oh yeah, give me the game. Give me Triple H. Oh! Yikes. Alright. Well. You don't want Lashley in here for too long? Okay, then I'll overhead belly to belly. You get the world strong. You're gonna get the world's strongest man trips. Beat him up, Mark. Break his neck. Break his neck. Yeah. This is why the hurt business now runs SmackDown. This is great. I'm actually really enjoying this, by the way. The Hurt Business stuff is actually really fun to bring into GM mode. Because it's it's actually one of my favorite things about modern day WWE is MVP and his little group with Lashley and, and uh, Shelton Benjamin. Having Mark Henry here instead of Shelton Benjamin is pretty cool since, since Shelton Benjamin for some reason isn't in this game because he was still in the company in 2000 and uh, he was still in the company in 2008. So... Like, and I would know. I was literally just watching SummerSlam 2008 earlier this week. Where he appears in the match between Jeff Hardy and MVP. Oh. My. Goodness. Get up, John. I still got a lot left in the tank. I still got a lot left in the tank. That's it. Cena's eliminated. I forgot it was elimination, honestly. So now it's DX versus the Hurt Business. Oh, wow. No thanks. Yeah, I need to disband the DX as a, as a faction on this because of Power 25. With us having both Sean and Trips on the show. Same way I would disband Rated RKO if we kept it, if we kept Ran if we keep Randy on the show and get Edge at some point. Oh, Razor's Edge! Wow. Yikes. 
Come on then, Triple H. Show me what happens when I play the game. Uh... Also, yes, I did. I did change clothes in the in the pause a few minutes ago, and that was just because I had to run outside, and it's like 100 degrees out there. I'm not going out there in a suit, in a shirt and tie, unless I absolutely need to. I disagree. Getting the crowd on your side what the? a huge psychological boost. That was that was way too loud, Michael. You are supposed to be turned completely off. I still hear you whispering in my matches, so. Get back in here, P. Are we gonna have them sweep? I'd kinda like to see HBK pull off a comeback. Ow! Like, it is taking longer for them to get their signatures and stuff than it is for me, which is weird, because I've got the settings on default. Because Mark Henry, he's got a lot of finishers. Oh! Oh! Come on then, give me Triple H. Did you hear me, Sean? I said give me Triple H. All right, you ain't gonna give me Triple H. Ow! Break. That's what I thought, Sean. I ain't asking for much, I just want Triple H in this ring. Well, whoop Triple H. All right, yeah, give me Triple H. Same way we won the tag belts. Get him out of here. Say goodnight, Triple H. Hardly even knew ya. Whoa! -ho! He just no-sold my finisher. Just no-selling the finisher. I guess it's all about the game and how you play it. Get up, Triple H. As my do God, he's going ballistic in there, and it's ridiculous. Okay, sorry about that. Now then, come here, Triple H. Oh, jeez. Oh, lawnmower's right outside my window now. Ow! They keep finding ways to reverse it. I swear, Triple H's momentum went down suddenly. Oh, jeez! Come on, MVP. Get in here then, Triple H. Oh! Oh, Triple H with the spear. I think they like nothing for his momentum bar either. Oh no. Come on now. Oh, uh oh. Oh boy. Figure four. Figure four. People are trying to get in here and break it up for us. They were attempting. Ah! Ow! Oh no. Okay. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Uh-oh. I think we... Uh, oh, jeez. You're not gonna... You're not gonna sit here and beat up on MVP. You're not gonna sit here and beat up MVP. I'm gonna eventually reverse one of these. 
I will eventually reverse one of these. Okay, I'm probably not going to eventually reverse one of these. Ow. Oh, great. He's going Rampage. I was kind of hoping to see the pedigree. Given I've been doing a half-assed pedigree as my own character. Oh, boy. And now they're just going to gently kick me again. Oh, they keep hip-tossing, Sean. They keep hip-tossing me. Get out of here. Oh, there we go again. Ow. Here we go again. This is going way longer than I thought it was. Just kind of... You know, I'm, I'm really confused as to why Triple H and Shawn Michaels aren't using their... Or aren't getting finishers and signatures quickly. Like... I don't know, I say that, but the MVP hasn't really gotten one in a while either, so... They do keep finding ways to reverse that, though. So, you know... Don't, don't fear, guys. They will, they will continuously reverse... They know how to do that. Get him, big man. Just tell the referee. Could you guys quit all getting in my way? Move, ref. Move, MVP. Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Just not trying to do that. It's fine. It's fine, because you know what I am going to do? I'm run back around here behind Triple H. I'll grab him. Oh, I was going to try and pick him up for the, uh... Move, MVP! Maybe if you would quit getting in my way... All right, you're done, Trips. Welcome to SmackDown. With your weird handlebar mustache you had going on back in 2008, I guess. I wasn't watching yet, so I don't know. All right, time to beat up Shawn Michaels. Ow. Ow. Oh, get him, Mark! Yeah! Yeah, we're the Hurt Business and we run SmackDown. Just tell him. Get out of here, Sean! Get out of here. Dominator. Finish it. Hurt Business. Gonna get the big win at SummerSlam. Boom! We ain't gonna Nexus them. Clean sweep for the Hurt Business. That's how you tell a story. I, you, I hope everyone sees the, the joke when I do that kind of, when I say that kind of stuff. Like, I'm not being serious when I say it, just in case you wondered. The Hurt Business, though. Big win there. Earth's strongest slam? I don't think he's called the Earth's strongest man. I didn't remember Lashley's theme song having rap to it, honestly. I don't know 
know why. It always feels so weird holding a PS3 controller. Alright, let's see how SummerSlam went for everyone. Fan change, raw, plus 25. Plus a quarter million, no! SummerSlam was a success. The two journal managers booked the best matches they could, and the cross brand previews and indication of how they ran. Looks like Raw was a bit more in, has a bit more in the tank. You can be sure that next time. That's stupid. Yeah, Raw had a bit more in the tank. Raw got more matches than I did. Of course, Raw got one better star than us, or course, or half a star better than us. Who, whose star ratings are these, anyways? Meltzer. I don't know. I think I've got the roster. I think I've got the roster I'm kind of just set with now. Like, there's no one I just absolutely want to get rid of. Well, I was not trying to trade Ray Mysterio away. I was actually trying to see why he was unsatisfied. All right, Ray Mysterio will get you a title match. Well, Candace, we're actually looking to trade you off for someone, so... It's fine. We're going to boost you up just a little bit during Raw tonight. With another show invasion. That should put her at 7 at 85, right? Yeah. Oh, I forgot we got Rick Rude, to be totally honest. Who's ECW had that we might want for 85? Okay. Um, don't really want Elijah Burke. Um, Raw has Chavo. Eh, wow, Chris Masters has been cooling off since we get... Oh, Mr. Kennedy's still high up there, though, isn't he? Give me the animal. Now that is a roster. Mark Henry, Rock, Austin Lashley, Michael Cena, H, Batista, Mysterio, Rude, MVP, Piper, Orton, Undertaker, Me, Punk, Hardy, Nitro, Hardy, Regal. What a roster. It's the same co Son of a bitch. I don't even have a thousand dollars anymore. I'd be afraid of Batista as a villain. Batista, you're expecting me to pay you, and you can't even do that. Try it again. We just got Batista, and he's about to get sent to free agency, isn't he? I always got to check that kind of stuff, man. Okay, you know what? Just uh, other brand invasion. Let's boost the popularity of Jeff Hardy a little bit, because he's kind of sliding down the card there so we got smackdown a lot of people want title matches a lot of people want title matches so we're going to do a couple of um ad uh, merchandise sponsorships to get some money we're gonna have to re-sign batista immediately here We're going to do a... I'm not going to play any of these just because I don't need to. We're going to do a cruiserweight match to kick off the show and a fatal four-way. CM Punk, Jeff Hardy, Johnny Nitro, and Ray Mist uh, Rick Rude, and... There we go. I'm going to do a tag team match. The Hardy Boys versus The Hurt Business. Okay, 
and then a six man tag. It's just we don't have enough spaces on the roster to not do a six man tag each week. Rock, Austin, and Cena, three of the uh, Mount Rushmore. Is Rock under T? Yeah, he is. All right. Rock, Austin, and Cena versus Orton, Batista, and Piper. Just have a stacked roster of people, man. Hard to get everyone on the show. Uh, we'll give Regal his long awaited U.S. title match with Mark Henry. And then who's not been booked yet? Well, they failed at SummerSlam, so now they're going to take out their anger on one another. DX in the main event. A Cruiserweight title match. Uh, Punk gets the win. Tag team match. Party Boys. Six-man tag team match. Bad guys. Is Regal going to get the title? No, he's not. And... Okay. And let's get Batista back. Thank you. God, we really need more money, because... Uh, Triple H runs out. There we go. Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy both run out soon as well. And Rick Rude. How'd we do? Raw got three stars. Batista's final night. ECW got three stars. Probably thank me for that. And we got three stars. Nah, just blew up my face. Okay, and so these next couple weeks. Oh, I have unread messages. Let me guess. Uh, contract expiring from yep from the Hardy Boys and Rick Rude. I don't want to get rid of the Hardy Boys either, because like I don't think there's anyone else. There's not another tag team I'd rather have. So instead, we will do some stuff like villain movies. Trying to just build up some extra income. Come on, Lashley. You're killing me, man. We just gotta get some extra cash in our pocket here. And then we'll book this last episode of SmackDown later. Um... And one more WWE promotion with Mark Henry of the Hurt Business. All right, got some extra cash in hand. We're going to need to make the money to re-sign the Hardy Boys and Rick Rude, unless we just want to... already have a full roster. I don't want the Sandman anyway. He's a jackass. Um, like, Johnny Nitro is our lowest guy now. Wow. No one. Oh, Steve Austin's unsatisfied. He wants a title shot. So we'll give him that next episode. For now, that's going to do it for this episode of GM Mode. I will worry about it more later, and I will see you guys soon. Xander out. Special thanks to all $5 and above patrons listed here. Your support means the world to us, and we could not do this without you.